Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing this makeup look that I have on right now. I'm really excited because we are two weeks away from Thanksgiving. Yes, I'm so excited. I get to see my family, get to eat lots of food. It's gonna be good. So here I am today filming a, I don't know, like holiday, Thanksgiving, glam makeup look for you guys. So if you guys wanna see the makeup look that I came up with, then let's just jump right into it. All right, so my camera's still a little bit jacked up. I'm still upside down on my viewfinder, but I'm gonna make this work because I do wanna get a video up. It is uh, 8.52 p.m. and all of a sudden I was like, dude, I wanna do makeup. I wanna do makeup. Uh, I took a shower, washed my body, washed my face. I did like a deep, deep cleaning on my face and here I am. I wanted to put some makeup on. So here I am. I'm about to prime my face with the NYX Pore Filler. Holla holla. Get that in my T-zone. I just wanted to practice some Thanksgiving looks for you guys and see, see what we can do here. Not just Thanksgiving, but holiday looks in general. So I'm going to quickly grab a little bit of this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I'm not going to add a ton, but I want to put like a little tiny pea size on my finger. And I really, I really, really, really don't want to do too much. I just want to put a little bit on like my high point. And this is just going to kind of like seep through the look. And I just want to illuminate what I can. You can apply it to your entire face if you would like. I normally would do that, but for today, I'm not. So, <laughs> yeah. So for today, I'm going to be going in with these two foundations. This one's way too light for me. This is the Dermacol. It's super popular. It's full coverage, super full coverage. And this is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Powder. This is illuminating. So this one's matte. This one's illuminating. So I'm going to mix a little bit of them, mainly because this one's darker and the other one's lighter. And I think that I'll kind of get like a good like satin matte finish out of them both if that makes any sense at all I just don't want it to be too too matte and I don't want it to be too illuminating but I also want it to last so I'm just going to use my damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to blend this in typically I would use a brush to blend in the Dermacol foundation but for the sake of this video I'm not because I don't want like a crazy thick look I do want coverage but I do want but I did want to mix it in with that Ellie Girl foundation. So my face is looking much better. It's still a little bit on the pale side so I am going to go ahead and sculpt and go in with my Jordana sculpt and go like I normally do and I'm just going to darken some things up to a little bit of a contouring and blend this out. Yes, I avoided my under eye at the beginning because I'm going to be adding my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This stuff is amazing for covering up any bags under your eyes or just for brightening. It's super high coverage, so just be aware of that. A little does go a long way. So I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face with my Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. It's just like a shade that can go with all skin tones. It's not like translucent, but it kind of is at the same time. So I'm just going to apply this to my entire face. For bronzer today, I'm going to go in with this Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer that I love. Never steers me wrong warms up the face. It's not too like ashy. It's not too orange. It's a really good bronze tone. For highlighter today, I'm going to go in with this Face Candy Unicorn Glow Highlight Collection Palette. So excited to dive into this. I'm going to go ahead and pick up these two shades right here and just apply this to my high points. I don't want to go too all out, but I do want to add a definite glow. I was really excited to try this out. Ooh, very glowy. 
I don't know about the other shades, but I know for sure these are more on the neutral side if highlighter is neutral. I don't know if highlighter can be neutral. Wow, that highlighter is popping. Looks so good, I'm excited. Okay hey guys, for eyes today, I'm gonna go in with this Retro Love 14 Color Eyeshadow Collection. This is the knockoff for the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. I have definitely already kind of dug into this palette. I haven't really used it on my eyes, but I have definitely kind of played around with it and tested out shades to see if it's a good match for me. So I kind of want to do like a halo eye, but I don't know for sure what I'm going to do. We'll see. That's why we're here to test out some holiday glam for you. This is why we're here is because we're going to be testing out looks so we can find the perfect one for the holidays. So I'm just going to try and kind of just get a transition shade in here. And I mainly just want to see if this palette is worth my time. Um, when I did do the swatches, it looked really, really beautiful. But you never really know how long things last. And if the pigment is really good on the eyes, it can be different on the hand versus the eye. But I'm liking this transition shade so far. It's really, really pretty. So I'm actually going to go right into the shade next to it because it's a little bit peachier and warmer. And I'm just going to pop that also in the crease just to deepen it up a little bit more. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan, but I'm not too mad about that because I really don't care too much. I'm not like crazy picky. As long as it's applying to my eyes and it's looking good, I usually don't care too much. I'm going to go into this rock and roll shade right there. It's just a deep mauve tone, purple, cranberry looking shade. And I'm going to pop this into my outer corner and see how it plays the inner part of my eye too. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Revolution shade right here. You probably could already tell that that was the shadow that I was going to go into. But I'm honestly just going to pop this in to the center of my eyeball. And I already swatched this and it is pigmented as hail. So I am really impressed with this. I think this eyeshadow palette is only 10 bucks. And come on, like is that not beautiful? I'm going to go ahead and add me some eyeliner, some mascara, and lashes, and I'll be right back. The lashes are on for the most part, and now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that rock and roll shade on my lower lash line. Y'all know me, I'm not like a crazy bottom mascara person, but I will add shadows. I will put mascara every once in a while, but I really... I think I look so ugly with it. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm going to go ahead and pop back into this palette. And I'm going to take the Stardust and the Dream shade. And I'm just going to put this underneath my brow bone. And just give it a little pop. And the inner corner of my eye. Okay, for lips today, I'm just going to go into this mauve tone, and this is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Rose Shield Shade. It's just like a really pretty, dusty rose shade that I've been liking these last couple days. Just a standard lipstick. But it's definitely got like a mauve mauve gray tone to it i can't explain it but it's definitely still like in the nude range i like it it feels hydrating especially for me i'm such a hydrating lip type of person i really can't even stand having anything matte on my lips um unless it's like a hydrating type of feel because my lips are so dang dry if you know me
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!